A group of Azerbaijan human rights organizations are planning to implement an alternative national preventive mechanism against torture. Eleven NGOs have united to form the Coalition of Social Control for National Preventive Mechanism. A member of the coalition, the head of the Public Union of Democratic Institutions and Human Rights, Elchin Abdullayev, said in today's press conference that the establishment of national preventive mechanism is envisaged in the optional protocol of the UN Convention on the Prevention of Torture. According to the presidential decree of January 13, 2009, the implementation of national preventive mechanism was assigned to the Ombudsman, though the Ombudsman is not legally entitled to arrange monitoring to prevent torture. National preventive mechanism does not include human rights advocates, which undermines the transparency of the process, said Abdullah. He also noted that the Convention allows for operation of two or more national preventive mechanisms in countries, a practice that exists in Armenia, Georgia, and Kazakhstan. The head of the Committee Against Torture, Elchin Behbudov, noted the importance of the alternative national preventive mechanism. According to him, in the first half of 2011, the committee received complaints about 89 cases of torture in various law enforcement agencies, six of which resulted in this. A former political prisoner, the head of the public movement for human rights, Enola Fatulayev, said that the most brutal torture which can result in this occurs in prison number seven. Meanwhile, according to Fatulayev, false human rights advocates have come together in the penitentiary service and formed a public committee to monitor places of detention together. According to him, they turn a blind eye to the torture of prisoners. The Human Rights Club coordinator Rasul Jafarov announced the coalition's intention to carry out monitoring and produce alternative reports and recommendations for improving the legislation. The coalition will appeal to President Hamali for its official recognition as a new national preventive mechanism and permission to visit places of detention. The head of the Democratic Monitor, NGO Fuat Asanov, noted that torture is often used in the first hours after the arrest in order to extract the confession. Instead of informing suspects of their rights, they impose a duty counsel, but who in fact works for the investigation. The head of the Committee for Protection of Citizens' Rights, Muslimat Zakanova, noted that the prisoners fighting for their rights are subjected to special tortures. This practice is common in Govestan prison. In addition to this NGO, the coalition includes the Institute for Reporters for Human Safety, the Azerbaijan Human Rights House, the Center for Equal Opportunities, the Regional Center for Human Rights and Enlightenment, and the Public Union for Rehabilitation and Protection of Tortures Victims.